What is up guys, this is Kiran here, welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. CZMOS was one of the great custom rooms based on Android version 10 and this one is based on Android version 11 which right now I've installed it on my Redmi Note 8 which is Gingo and you can also install it on your device if you want to. In this video I'm going to share with you how's the performance, how's the battery backup, how's the room going on, bugs, features, everything in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started quickly. Yes, we're talking about CZMOS which is based on Android version 11 and based on Android version 11 the ROM is quite good and using it from some time the ROM seems to be really nice in the in the terms of performance and touch response also in the terms of battery backup the ROM seems to be really great. You can see CZMOS version v3.1 official version which right now I've installed and has a security update of 1st 5th of December 2020 so it comes with the latest security update alongside with that it comes with the Quicksilver kernel pre-installed for this device this build is actually quite great because the previous CZMOS build if you have tried and installed had some bugs that had bugs like the performance was quite laggy the performance was not good up to the mark by the way and also had some little bit of bugs related to volume panel and some little bit of things I tried that and got some bugs so now it's the official latest new build and latest build which is working fine almost seems to be everything seems to be working here I will also share with you the same things which I got which were not working first of all we're gonna talk about the default launcher it comes with the vanilla build which means it does not come with the Google Apps pre-installed so you need to Google you need to install Google Apps on your own whatever Google Apps you need you can simply use them and if you are checking out some things you can see there's a different difference in icons like the camera icon contacts files icon and also the phone icon is almost same here messaging icon is also changed these are the things which I just noticed and these are the icons kind of thing and icon pack you can see this is a different thing this is a new thing which you get here by default installed going for the other things if you install the Google app you will see the Google feed there and the interesting thing you get here is the launcher which is actually pixel launcher pre installed that seems to be really nice and full screen gestures etc seems to be working alongside with that we have the screenshot and select option both available at the same time after using it for some time I have noticed one thing if you go here going for the wallpapers here we have the option of choosing the cesium os wall bucket I was just I was not in the mind of using this one and I just tried and use that and yes it's working fine here we have a lot of CZMOS wallpapers pre-installed this looks really great this one is something interesting CZMOS CZMOS all the wallpapers are quite great here which has a CZMOS wall bucket so something interesting is still there if you are looking for some cool kind of wallpapers you can simply apply them and the wallpaper seems to be really nice and a huge quantity of wallpapers are available if any wallpaper you like so much how to apply that simply click here and here you will see the option of choosing the home scene lock scene or both in my case I'm gonna choose the both option applying selected wallpaper it's done this was how easy to apply these wallpapers and these are pre-installed does not require any internet connection that seems to be really nice also if you go for your status bar icons we have the HD which means the Volti icon is available and Volti is working fine it didn't got any major issues going for the other things let me show you my kernel manager battery drainage active drain 7.24 percent per hour which is almost fine in redmi note 8 idle drain 0.76 percent per hour but i have not tried that much i just not focus that one screen on 3 hours and 10 minutes 40 seconds screen of 1 hour and 19 minutes and if you are noticing screen off is 1 hour 19 minutes and deep sleep is 1 hour 15 minutes so the time when my screen was off the device was in deep sleep mode this is the thing which i just noticed in this build other things there is no option of setting the rows here if you click here you have no option of choosing the rows you can only reset the columns if you want to and by default it comes with the 3 by 4 ratio which should be I, I was looking for 2 by 3 or 2 by 4 maybe that was good but 3 three rows are not comfortable for me other thing seems to be same here also let me show you one thing in my case I'm using Magisk a lot of users are getting issues while installing Magisk in Redmi Note 8 that you are seeing that Magisk V21 uh, version is not working 
I'll tell you I'll make a perfect special video for that that how you can install the Magic Squid 21 because that's quite easy by the way but right now in my case I'm using the modded Magic Squid version here and if you go for the safeness status by default the safeness status was not passing but after applying that thing which I have a video on you can simply apply that module wait let me show you which module I'm talking about Magic Hide props config and also turning on the Magic Hide from the settings and then you'll be able to use and pass the safeness status and you'll be able to use the banking apps without any issues let's move on to the settings and find out some things which you get here network and internet connected devices almost same kind of things notification history feature is available which is uh, one of the great features in android version 11 battery backup i already shown you going for the display and wait let me show you one more thing if you're noticing see your settings icons are also themed these are not same kind of other things which you get in all other customers these are something different and some new extra things which are not themed xiaomi parts include the me sound enhancer and display color calibration option is available which is something really good for a lot of guys if you want to check out your display quality you can adjust the colors to make it look better and also we have the security update where we have the face lock option available does not come with the app locker but face lock is available fingerprint face lock both are available and also system about phone etc seems to be same here Talking about the customization, only a little bit of customization, status bar, lock screen, UI tuner, notification, battery, navigation and buttons and about. Now let me tell you one thing which I have noticed so far, let me show you by going into system and gestures. Gesture navigation has the option of choosing the gesture navigation and if you go for the settings, you'll see gesture bar length is hidden which means I will not see this pill here and also let me show you one thing. Now if I open the, my keyboard, you'll see mint keyboard. This is the keyboard which I installed from the Google Play Store and you'll see no space behind there and the setting is turned off so which means there should be no space. But the second thing which I noticed so far is after applying that thing, let me show you by trying my Google keyboard as my default keyboard once so that let me show you that which are the thing I am talking about open Google keyboard and now select input method to G board okay it's done now let me turn let me search anything and okay here it is you can see the space behind there this is kind of a bug in this build which was available in the pixel experience also I have noticed this one maybe this is not a big issue for you but I just wanted to let you know so this is the thing which you get here other things seems to be same here these were the things I just want to share with you if you want to install this build link is in the description this no this room does not come with the Google Apps pre-installed you need to install on your own you can find out the link in the description thanks for watching goodbye